Last year, about this time, on Lent season, the Lord gave me a meditation that I entitled it 40 Days and 40 Nights. And the scripture that he gave me is on Mark 8, 35, where Jesus says, Whoever wants to follow me, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. And I'd like to invite you in this Lent season that begins to deny yourself of something every single day. Give up something that you really like and do it for the love of God. And I also like to invite you to look at your cross. Your cross could be your your temper or your bad temper. It could be problems in your marriage or in your family. It could be your loneliness. It could be your job. And don't blame, don't Try to feel better by blaming others for your cross. Embrace it. Hold it. Take it upon your shoulders. Every day when you wake up in the morning, pray the Lord's Prayer and thank God for that new opportunity. He gives you new life every single day that you open your eyes. So I invite you to say the Lord's Prayer and then look at your cross. Pick it up. Embrace it, put it on your shoulders, and walk. Walk following the steps of our Lord Jesus. Your cross was given to you for the salvation of your soul and for the benefit of others. Today, we will begin with day one, meditation on day one, uh, which uh, will be done on Ash Wednesday. This... uh, meditations the Lord gave them to me on Lent season but we could make them any time you know any time during the year but today we're going to meditate on the first part of the first joyful mystery which is the Annunciation and we'll meditate on the love of God I truly believe that before he created everything that he created visible and invisible He had everything already in his mind, including you and me. And he loved us. We were loved from that time. His love for us is so great that he felt so bad when Adam and Eve sinned and then began that separation from God. I believe that his heart hurt at that separation. Now it's necessary a reconciliation with God's heart, with God's love. So he decided to come to earth in the person of his beloved son. He sent his angel, Gabriel, to a little girl, a teenage girl named Mary. He appears to Mary and salutes Mary. And he calls her full of grace. Mary is surprised to see the angel and to hear his words. And he doesn't re- she doesn't really understand that greeting. But Mary was filled with the Holy Spirit. Mary was so close to God. Mary understood God's love for her and she listens. She quiets her heart and she listens to the words of the angel. Many people today do not consider Mary important but she is so important in that reconciliation with the human race and God's heart. In God's love. She is so important. She was chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus, the mother of our Lord. If any time in your life you feel that you have ignored the Blessed Mother, her presence in your life, her love for you, She will always intercede for you, even when you do not ask, because her love 
is similar to her son's law. If you ever ignore her presence or deny her, I ask you to think about it and repent and ask forgiveness and ask the Blessed Mother also to forgive you and to continue accompanying you, continue receiving your prayers and interceding for you before His beloved Son so that you may receive the strength every day that you need to carry on your cross and to walk in the footsteps of her son. I'd like to invite you right now to pray with me. Pray a mystery of the rosary. And in this mystery, we're going to let Mary know how difficult your cross may be at times so that she can intercede before her son. We will also place all your needs under her care. And we also pray for all the priests and the religious, asking for her prayers to continue to strengthen each one of them, to continue to guide them, to continue to bless them. I invite you to pray with me. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have more need of your mercy. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we love you, save souls. Thank you for joining me.
God bless you.